Good morning, there. This is Carl from Mojojo. Welcome to Malaysian Cinema Weekly. Let's check what's happening around Malaysian cinema recently. The long-awaited biopic of Lee Chong Wei finally released in cinema last week. It doesn't disappoint audience with its quality. Check the story sent by our correspondent Gao Yuhan. The highly anticipated biopic of Malaysian badminton icon Lee Chong Wei was officially released in Malaysian cinema on March 15. It soon hit to the top spot in the market. The 125-minute duration film entitled Li Chong Wei: Rise of the Legend narrates the journey of how a little boy grew up to become number one badminton player in the world. It also highlights the spirit of Malaysian ballet and self-determination to succeed. The film was screened in 130 cinemas nationwide. According to the audience feedback, it was really impressive. Uh, before I watched this film, I actually don't really concern too much about the Malaysian sports. But after I watch it, I feel excited and I feel like I'm growing up with Lee Chong Wei.、Uh, the story is very touching. Through this movie, I understand that every athlete makes a lot of efforts to achieve their goals, and I feel the sportsmanship. Of course, I'm proud to be a Malaysian. Li Chongwei's story has inspired thousands of Malaysians, and now it gets the chance to be brought to the big screen. If you are a big fan of Li Chongwei, you definitely should not miss this film. Gao Yuhang from Mo Jojo. Although the Li Chongwei film received praise, a fact cannot be ignored is that the Malaysian film market is basically dominated by foreign films. The space for local film to survive is quite limited. Our correspondent Wu Yufei sent us this news. Last year, Malaysia spent 983 million ringgit at the movies. However, local films only took six percent of the overall gross. Apparently, Malaysian local films are competitive in the market. The statistic from National Film Development Corporation Malaysia indicates that the gross taking of local feature films in 2017 is the second low in recent seven years. It seems like Malaysian audiences are losing their interest to local films. Wang Changsong, the director of Center for Asian and Chinese Screen Studies, analyzed the reason why the market for local films is shrinking. Malaysian audiences have a preferences. This particular preferences. Is related to language. Maybe Malay cinema only attract only maybe Malay cinema audiences, and maybe they don't have any markets for Chinese audiences. So language is not the barriers. That's the reason why more and more local citizens prefer to watch English films, especially from the Hollywood and also Western countries. And I think also some of the so-called、um, distribution companies in Malaysia they import a number of good quality films. And they put a lot of efforts to、um, buying this kind of films from the overseas, but they have less money has been invested into local productions. And some of the local brands they put a lot of efforts to support local film industries, but unfortunately, the box office earning didn't secure the market for them. So that is reason why、um, it is like the bad circles where we may realize that the shrinking of the Malaysian film industry in the latest two and three years. Many audiences also express their opinions about why Malaysian local film industry is trapped in dilemma: the tight production budget, the strict censorship, and the limited market are common answers. To boost the development of the local film industry, it requires Malaysian filmmakers' creativity and courage to compete with those blockbusters from other countries. And for audience, we are definitely looking forward to the higher quality Malaysian local films in the future. Wu Yufei from Mojo Jo. The strict censorship in Malaysian cinema is believed to be one of the reasons contributes to the dilemma of local films. It's been a controversial topic among Malaysian film fans for a long time. Let's see what our people's opinion on this issue.、Uh, what do you think、uh, film censorship in Malaysia?、Um, about censorship, I think that、uh, Malaysia should carry on the censorship because there are a lot of、um, kids in Malaysia that tend to follow what、uh, they see and hear, 
So I think it's very important that movie censorship should go on and stay that way. If it's possible, I think that it should be improv improvised for the next generation. For me, there's uh, two things to highlight. Uh, one is uh, when they put the P18 or P13, so they already censored some for kids, some for adults. So when it comes to adults movie, they should not censor more. Once they already put 18, no need to cut. Uh. Come to P13, uh, they can censor the words uh, because kids are coming. That's my opinion. Uh. I think when it comes to, they have to censor it based on the age group because uh, when I think when, when someone becomes adult, I think they deserve to know. So that's no problem. But when it's come to age group, that is good to censor because that can be influenced for our youngsters. So uh, censoring by the age group, I think it's good. Yeah. For me, I believe censorship in the film industry is, is utterly ridiculous. I mean, there's no need to censor a good piece of artwork from a director or from a producer or from an independent director. I believe that censorship in any kind is ridiculous. I think for me, yeah, it's just the same thought, especially for Twilight and all those like romance movie. They seriously censor all those weird stuff that we think it is appropriate for that. And they just give excuse about that you actually suppress their own desire. but. I don't think it is like a uh, logic for that. And the last all for today is Malaysian Cinema Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.